guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. I am welk I am welcome. No. <laughs> I am joined by Swedish sensation. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Sara Larson, everybody! Hi. It's been years, honey. It really has. I, before we get started, remember that time we were on a plane? Yeah. You remember? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> and you came up to me and you yeah. went, hi, you're Nikki. And yeah. I, I was like, I know you, but I don't know you. Yeah. And then you put your number in. So your last name is? Larson. Larson. Yes. But you spell it differently than your artist name or no? No, I don't think so. Because it's just my name. Did you do a <laughs> typo? Because she, she spelled it differently. Oh, like, I was such a imposter. <laughs> Anyways, we met on a plane we did. years ago, and now we're here. Finally, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for having you're me. You're here in Amsterdam because you're touring your yeah. new album, yeah. Venus. Venus. Tell me more. Yeah, she's just, you know, the goddess of love, mm -hmm. beauty. I sing a lot about love. But love could be so many things. Mm -hmm. Like, I dedicated a song to my sister, who is like one of my biggest loves in life. Obviously romantic. Some friends, some heartbreaks, some like going out, clubbing, dancing, just vibing, oh, loving yourself. Bangers. Yeah. Yeah, so it feels really, really good. And so far, the tour's been absolutely amazing. I'm really, really excited for tonight in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna look snatched. Yeah, cause so. today, the whole thing was, <laughs> we're gonna be turning you into me. Yeah! Amazing idea, like look at our hair. Yes. We're already twinning a little we're bit. We're snatched and pulled up. <laughs> Headache yeah. is incoming. Right. Um, Do you like the look? I love it. You better, cause you're gonna wear it. I love <laughs> it, I love everything that you do. Okay, good. Oh, right. I feel so safe. Okay. Like, I feel so safe in your hair. Okay, so if you're ready to see Zara Lark and turn into my twin. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's get into it. Okay, let's get into it, y'all. Let's get into it. So before mm. we start, not to prime is a crime. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is my brand Nimya. Oh, and she's almost done. Oh, you love that one. That's good to see. Clearly I do. <laughs> So this is gonna give you a gorgeous glow. We love that. We love a glow. So tell me about Venus and the tour. Right now I'm in Europe. We started off in the UK. Oh. It's been such a, an amazing experience so far. I am just surrounded by women. We're like an all women crew, like oh, on stage. I love that. And on the, you know, in the band and my dancers. It really is just like the Venus goddess tour. Cause I've been wanting to play with women for so long and now it's just like the time for it but so, you've been in this industry so long time long. i know you I know. started out when you were 10 basically i mean i didn't really like book jobs after it but i was on the sweden's got talent and you won Thank you. And after that, I was like, okay, cool. I won the show. Like, I'm obviously gonna get like signed. I'm gonna right. be a superstar. She's like, Abba who? Abba oh. who? I thought I was gonna, you know, everything was just gonna work out for me. Right. But it was hard. Like, you do that show, next year there's like a new winner. And I was also 10. So I think it was she really- was 10. <laughs> I think it was really job. hard for people or like record companies to take me seriously a as an artist. You know what I mean? But in my heart, I was, I was ready. They were like, wait for puberty, honey. <laughs> yeah. So then I did finally get signed at yeah, 14. And then at, at 14? Which is still so young. And then at 15, I released my first song. And ever since, it's just kind of been going on and on and on and on and on, and I love it. I do not want to wait four years in between an album. Is that what you used to do all the time? Yeah. Four years? Yeah, like my from my first international to my second poster girl it was four years. It doesn't it just, feel like four years. I know. Because you're always kind of there. And yeah. I, was I was telling you before we got started, one of my most vivid memories when it comes to you is you during the World Cup. Yes. And I also told you how when I work with artists, uh -huh. <laughs> um, the morning of filming, I'll get a random song of them in I my head. I feel that. And I'll try ho the whole day not to <laughs> sing it while you're here. We sing it. I <laughs> did this together. Okay, not too much copyright, copyright. <laughs> But no, that but was, was iconic. Funny. You in that arena. It was so fun when I I will that. never forget. I will never forget. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fan, y'all. She's a fan. <laughs> like at that point, definitely the biggest thing that How I had done in then? my I was 18. Like so young. Like now when I look back at it, I'm just like, wow, I did that. I How didn't are even you realize. Not a total diva. So when I do stuff, when I'm in it, I feel like nothing is a big deal. I'm like, yeah, yeah, the World Cup, like whatever. Like no. yeah. Yes. And then when I look back at it, I'm like, wow, that was a pretty big deal. But when I'm in it and I'm doing something, I'm always thinking like, well, okay, like what's the next stuff? Like that wasn't Are very- Are you ever satisfied with what you've done? 
I feel like the older I get, the more satisfied I'm trying to be. But it's a very conscious decision okay. of being, you know, present and appreciative of everything that you experience. It's so easy to just like, okay, well, what's next? You know? Well, like, do you take the time to like appreciate all the work that you've done already? I do that now. I really try to do that now. But as an 18 year old, I was just like, yeah, yeah. Was that insecurities <laughs> or is that? I think I'm just really, really competitive. And I'm not like a football girl. So I, at the point, I didn't realize like this is actually really really big deal. <laughs> but now I'm like, wow. It's that, like that was probably the deal. biggest thing in the world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? But I didn't sing live. What? No. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, it's you all were you were <laughs> Yes, you were. No, it was it's not, not live. No, I, you're not allowed to. Why not? I don't, I don't know. They don't want you to go, yay, sweetie. Right. <laughs> Because I was like, I want to sing live. It's like, let me live. let me perform. Like, I am never lip syncing. Like, I don't do that. Say for the people in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but they were like, no, you have to. You so still David, have a good time. Get up was just nothing. I mean, I can only speak for me. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> just so you know, you probably don't apply even like half this amount on your face usually. No, no, but you're you turning are into me. Up. me. Yeah. <laughs> And you know, I will be stalking the photos from tonight to see if you removed any of them. <laughs> You've done so much already. So much. And I am really, you know, now, Sorry, I used to be, yep. of course. Uh -huh. Starting out when I was really young, I would just walk off stage, you know, when I first started out, like 15. Uh -huh. And I would just be so sad and upset. I would just be like, that wasn't good enough. Like, I wasn't good Stop. enough for that. I was never, ever happy. Like, oh, I could have done better. I could have done better. Like, I Me. always, <laughs> you know, I always want to do better. Like, I would just be really mean to myself. That took away so much, because I love to sing and I love to perform. I just actively started thinking about, like, have fun. Girl, Good. come on. And now I really do. And I do feel like it has helped me so much. And I'm really more present, and I really appreciate all the things I get to do, I think, a lot more now. But also appreciate what you've done. Totally, you've no, done totally. crazy stuff. When I look back at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I'm actually really proud of a lot of things. There's one question good. lingering on mm -hmm. my tongue. Mm -hmm. You are from the country. <laughs> I know where this is going. Oh, you're a <laughs> yes, I I've am. read somewhere before that you you don't want to compete. Compete in yeah. the melody as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you say it? Melody festival. Melody festival. Wait, we were talking about how you pronounce seven. In how do you pronounce Mel seven in Swedish? Hui. What? Hui. Hui? Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, that was really good. What yeah. is one to seven? Et. Et. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. This is what? You thought that was hard? Yeah. Four. 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 Fem. Oh, that's good. Fem. Uh -huh. Six. Six. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's like you're singing. Otta, nie, tie. This is not a language. Is it? Eén, twee, drie, vier, vijf, zes, zeven, acht, negen. Okay. Okay, so you don't want to compete. She's like, I'm established. Don't I'm call me. She's like, mm -mm. <laughs> no. I feel like I love, I love, 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 love to watch it. Like, yeah, you watch it. Absolutely. I mean, watching Melody Festival and is any Eurovision is a part of Swedish culture. Oh, you like, Swedish people take it no, seriously. No, we take it seriously. And we have this, for people who don't know, who maybe only watch Eurovision, like Swedish people have this competition leading up to Eurovision, which is about like eight weeks. And we vote for like our favorites and then the favorites go to the finale. And then whoever wins the finale goes to Eurovision. So it's like a, it it's like brutal, a, it's like I a heard. thing. I would love to, you know, use those sexy Eurovision numbers to maybe do my own song in the interval. Yes, I was like, where's this going? <laughs> you know yes. I mean. By the way, we're taking Nimya mm. Cheeky Flush Cream Blush. Mm. Mm -hmm. Get your perfect beach, it comes with this own little Oh, sponge. so cute. It's yours to get to keep it. Now that my self promo is done, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see you in an interval Oh, that's interval beautiful. Act, right? Yeah, me too. Yeah, just. And what song vision, would you call do? me. Ooh, I don't Lush know. Life? Probably not. It is such a big part of my identity as an artist. And dare I say it, Swedish mu music history. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it would be really fun if I could do maybe something from my new album. Yes. Maybe even like a new song. I mean, I don't even know you if I'm gonna do it yet, but I would it. love to. If one day you're bored, which I know mm -hmm. you won't be because you're a busy lady, 
Well, like maybe do compete. No, honestly, I've said that snip. never, never say never. Maybe not right maybe now in life, day. but never say never. You dance. <laughs> yeah. You dance. I do love a good dance. Uh huh. We all saw the music video. Yeah. Down and love me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I want to do more like choreo videos. I support you, this message. You know, because like, you saw it in ballet, dance. right? Or, yeah. Um, Ballet was a huge, huge part of my life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it also taught me a little bit of discipline. No matter if you're a beginner or a professional prima ballerina at like a company, you kind of do the same things, but then you obviously advance it and add like flares to it. But I do think it teaches you something. I know that you directed one of your own music videos. Yeah, I've done that with a few now. That must be a dream. It's so fun. Starting out, I just didn't care. I didn't write my own music. I didn't like, I, don't, I was just like, put me out. I just want to sing. Because like, now just you own your sing. own music, right? Yeah, and now Boss I'm like- Boss move. Eh? I want to know. When mm -hmm. you do your own music videos, mm -hmm. you know how back in the day, like music videos would get recreated by makeup tutorials and mm -hmm. stuff, and like it would go viral just mm -hmm. for the makeup it, looks. Yeah, it did. Can you bring it back? I should. That's like, a really good idea. And then they do the, like the close-ups, and they're like, this "No, is you're for YouTube. so right." So you can recreate it. You're so right. I should have an iconic makeup look. Yes. An iconic. I'll be there. Choreo. Yes. Perfect. See how I just give myself the job. <laughs> Dance and makeup, what else do you need? Nothing. Well, so yeah. but, you know. water, maybe. Water, maybe. 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 What's happening now? Brow okay, time? Now brows. Okay. What do you usually do to your brows? Oh, I use a Maybelline pen. Oh, the build a brow? Build a brow, baby. Oh, love her. It's giving very natural, like, love. Express brow. Mmm. Mm. That you just brush on. Yeah, so this is like a, a gel. Right. A, a tinted, a tinted gel. Is it looking nice? It's perfect. Well, we're, we're not getting there. there. Yet, we're getting there. <laughs> What's happening now? So ammunition is about fighting for your relationship. Yeah. How, how did this song happen? Well, to be completely honest, my manager, Callie, she had found the song. Um, because I've been working with Rick Knowles, this amazing like legend. He's done so many. He's done like all the Lana Del Rey stuff. Ah, uh, that's done, like, Madonna. why. He's done like he's he did like Heaven Is a Place on Earth. So he had this like huge hard drive with just songs that were collecting dust essentially. And Callie went over before we started working and just like let me have a listen. And she found this song by a writer who's incredible called Stara. And she was like, that's hot. I think Zara's gonna like that. And it's basically, you know, just the chorus of like, I wanna give us a shot, please give me ammunition. So smart. Mm -hmm. And then me and Casey Smith just kind of reworked the verses a little bit. But I would say the if the chorus is there, that's like the heart of the song. Like the right. es the essence of the song was definitely already there. The whole like the the vibe of it. So yeah, I do have credits on it and I wrote on it. But I would say the Stara, she was the Stara was the star. But I just heard it and I thought I love it. It was a ballad at first. We added some drums. Oh. Sounded really cool. I mean, I'm not because you in do it. dabble between the two a lot. You do a lot of like. Hits. Totally. Totally, yeah. Ballads. Yeah, I, I love everything. It's a bit all over the place, which mm -hmm. is me. It doesn't always have to be about what you are actually going through right now. Right. It could be something that you m might have experienced in the past. Or, or something you could imagine it being like. Absolutely, or right. I take so much inspiration from my friends because my life is very drama free. Nothing oh, happens in my life. Oh, must be nice. Yeah. Are you in a yeah. relationship? Yeah. No drama ever? <laughs> Even when I'm trying, I'm like, <laughs> uh, 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 fight me, fight me. He's just, he won't give it to me. Ugh. He is, he's too calm. How long he's have you been together? For like four years. <laughs> And there's yeah. no drama? No. Oh my God, girl. I I start, I try to start it sometimes, just oh. because I'm messy. None of these guys got nothing on mine. Too much, not too much. Copyright, <laughs> copyright, <laughs> honey. This one time Jesse J sang something, Yeah. and all the rights were gone, honey. That's like uh, what's going on on TikTok right now. Juicy. Mm. I know you love TikTok. I do. How do you feel about artists breaking through, through I think TikTok? it's amazing, and I think it's, a great platform. It's really, really hard as an artist to promote yourself if you don't have backing by a huge, huge label. And even if you do, it's really hard because these days, I mean, that is basically their marketing plan. They're like, a do TikTok. a couple TikToks. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> do a couple of TikToks. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> and you can film them yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I think I think it's amazing for for just everyone. Is that why you have your own label as well? Uh, well, I just started it to have my masters and songs live somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's like a little house for them. My, right. my label is called Summer House. But you're house. not looking to sign artists. Not right now, but it will be really fun in the future. Because right. you know, it takes a lot to take care of a new artist. No, but also but because you started that. when you were so young, you yeah. know what it's like. Totally. And you know how to guide And these. I had really, really, really good people around me, especially in the beginning, because it was so small, and I was signed to 10 Records, which was an independent label in Stockholm, who then licensed my music through Sony and have a partnership with that. So I kind of took over 10's contract. So like I'm licensing my songs to Sony, which is which is great. But yeah, in the future, that will be so fun. So talking about, you already mentioned how you've been in a relationship for four years. Mm -hmm. The dead old question is coming up. <laughs> Babies! Babies, oh baby. I want kids right now. Really? Like right now. I'm just like, fuck it. Why not? Are you married for his babies after? Don't care. Okay. <laughs> I love it. It's not right. gonna be like, oh, in 10 years, like I'll, I'll be completely, my schedule will be free. It will probably be even more. Now that's the mindset of honey. She's <laughs> so like, Venus like, part six. Absolutely. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. I love how you're so, you're so real. I think it's because I have really, really good people around me. I can like tell. Really good friends, like good family, like good boyfriend. It, and sometimes you just have to remember that it's just music. Did you find it hard to grow up in the public eye? Well, in Sweden, I, I didn't really because Swedish people are so like chill. Oh, they are? Like you were never better than anyone, but you're also not worse than anyone. But we don't have paparazzis, like we don't have celebrity culture. Obviously when oh, after like don't. Sweden's Got Talent and I went back to school, it was like, oh wow, like congrats. And then it was just back to normal. Would you ever move? I mean, I would spend time places. I would I would love to spend time like in LA where I do spend a lot of my time actually. That's where um, we met on the plane. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. London, I spend a lot of time there. But Sweden, like Stockholm, it's just where I'm from. Home like is that's home. just home, you know? Right. Well, I um have a panic attack about you having to go to your gig. Oh, don't worry. No, don't we'll say that. It. No, you won't. <laughs> hey, everyone waiting. Just right. wait a little longer. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do, are you comfortable doing your own yeah. lashes? Great mm -hmm. brand, who is this by? <laughs> What's that, Nimya? Oh, I feel oh, like I've heard about sounds it. Sounds like a boss ass mm. bitch. I wanna make sure these are on mm. perfect. For, mm. oh, sorry, that just came out. Mm. That is a good lash. Ask me what lash it is. What, what lash is that? Oh, thanks for asking. It's Nimya, September 6th, my Ooh. wedding day. Oh, I love that. You are good at this. Oh, mama. <laughs> Woo. We gotta hurry. Are you feeling it? Oh, I'm feeling it. Are you feeling how some boots? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling how some boots. Boots, mama. <laughs> Wait, and you're acting. Yes. Wait, did we talk about this? Oh, you're yeah, acting. I'm acting. <gasps> Tell it's going to come out. More. I'm nervous. Why? It's like a drama. Oh, a drama. I am playing a... Is it um, Swedish or... Sorry, yeah, many yeah, questions. Yeah. Oh, it's Swedish. It's Swedish, okay. and it's with these amazing, amazing actors and they've previously been in... Probably a thriller, a crime thriller. Young Royals is probably the most like famous, like internationally, that people would know them from. They've been in many amazing things. Mm. And uh, my boyfriend, uh, Edvin, he's uh, <laughs> he's playing my boyfriend in the in the movie, and then Felicia is playing my little sister. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's a story about grief and it's also very beautiful and also hopeful and also about love. I don't think it's gonna be what people expect it to be. Is it awkward to do it? Cause there's a lot of stops. You know what I think was really helpful was that I have done music videos. Right. I've been in situations where it's like, okay, cool. There's like a lot of cameras. There's a lot of light. There's a lot of people like looking. And I think if I hadn't done that before. That would have been scary. Yeah, it would have felt like, whoa, this is a lot. But now it just felt like a music video where I got to talk. And everyone around was just lovely. Um, I need honest opinions. Does she look like me? <laughs> oh, yes. good. 
I swear we're almost done. People at the concert, wait, <laughs> she's coming. No, they're gonna be so excited when I, they're gonna be like, wait, I thought we were gonna see Zara and now it's Nikki tutorials on stage. I'm <laughs> and so then I confused. Come up, we're in <laughs> this together. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be shocked. Yeah, they're gonna be like, Nikki? Yeah, they're gonna be like, they how do you say hi in Dutch? Hi. Hi, hi Nikki. Why do you make it like that? Ich dich. That's, no, that's German! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>